Hello everyone, I'm Cole from the Kingdom. I'm joined here with Crimson Wolf. Uh, and the Dragon Age, the new Dragon Age teaser was just released. And so we're going to talk about it. Okay, that... Okay, first off, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that was that was a shock. Because first off, Casey Hudson kind of trolled everybody. <laughs> and went up there and just talked about Anthem and then randomly dropped a Dragon Age 4 trailer, so... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. Oh, no, but I'm excited now. I'm like, time to get back to making videos. Mm -hmm. oh. So, first things first, let's talk about the idol. Yeah. Okay, so it starts off showing various perspectives and, you know, whatnot. Thing is, the idol from DA2 was straight up destroyed. Yeah, it was made... It was used to make uh, Meredith's sword. Right. It, and then it, at the end, it blew up, and then Meredith became a Red Illyrium statue. Yeah. So this is a, a new idol exactly like the other one, I guess? Well, I thought that it might be a different idol. I also thought it might it just mean they're using that because people know where it's from. They know that it's connected to Red Illyrium. They could be just using it just to connect the two and make people think about it. But That is possible. I like the idea of them you know because the idol is something that everyone thought was kind of dealt with already and so putting a teaser out there like this like oh no there's more to it i i i like that idea yeah i don't know I that do. i don't know if that's what they're doing but i like it it starts making you think what really was the idol and what was it actually made like shaped from like initially when i saw it, I thought it was shaped after and dry state or something but now I'm thinking it might be an elven god. I thought mostly Madal right off the bat. That would make sense. Uh, in my, I made a video a while ago that theorized the idol was an allu, uh, an alluvian key, specifically a skeleton key for all alluvians. Yeah. If there's more than one, well, that's awesome. I mean, that still works. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, when I first thought, saw the trailer, I started like really breaking it down. Okay, let's say if the idol is shaped after Mathal, I thought it might have been shaped or molded after her after she died. Because it looks like it's her or whoever it is kind of protecting someone. Right. You see that person kind of grabbing onto the main body? Yeah. Right. And then something I don't understand is why is the idol worse than just regular red lyrium what's special about the idol that isn't that normal red lyrium doesn't already have anything well i don't think it's special in my when i because i started thinking about it more and more like there's not the only thing that's special about the idol is that it was the first time we encountered red lyrium right but consider the fact that it looks like it's we assume that's gonna be so just using it and so this is kind of in all terms of poetic justice warrior <laughs> in some ways, because he's like, this is poetic justice. I'm going to use this because this is what you kind of did to me, my people. But let's say if the idol is shipped at the Mathal, maybe it's, and we don't really, we know Mathal died. We just don't know how she died. I, I first assumed like maybe the of nurse used red lyrium to kill her. And this is kind of sort of using it against them. If he happens to release them, like kind of like an eye for an eye type of thing. Right. That makes sense. But, of course, Solus is the one that says, I mean, he knows Red Illyrium has the Blight. Yeah. And he says, you don't use the Blight. You can't. He is very, very adamant about that. So, I don't know, maybe the idol is the key to stopping him. That seems maybe like a bad idea, but... <laughs> Wait, dealing with Blight and Red Illyrium by itself is always a bad idea. Yeah. But... At the same time, while Solus says not to use it, he is also he also may do things to better his people. Like he killed, he technically killed Mathal again because he didn't have the power, even though he didn't want to. He will do what he thinks is he must to protect his people. That is true. So uh, <laughs> it's red lyrium all over again, which is already oh, yeah. wrapped in plenty of headaches. <laughs> oh, and okay, so. Just going off the idol for a little bit. When you zoom out and you go further out in the video, you start seeing idols around in a circle, and it's 
have these semicircles around it, and there are specifically seven of them. Seven semi, yeah, because they're only on the one side. Yeah, and there are five that are blacked out, and two that are still kind of lit up. Yes. And and again, when this trailer launched and everything, everybody showed it. Twitter and everything exploded. Of course, with theories. And the first pe- thing people thought of was one: the seven remaining of Anuris, not counting uh, Fenrir and Mithal, right? Or the seven archdemons. It's a, a, and, both a possibility. So initially, because you know, Sodas is very adamant against killing the archdemons and the and the Grey Warns and everything. So I guess the first theory was that oh, the archdemons were used as a seal to k- keep. Demoners in the Black City. And considering the fact that there are two Archdemons left, that's the two half circles that are still lit up. Mm, that, I like that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I, but then we don't know about their souls and how they were preserved because, you know, Ethemials might still be around. Yeah. There's theories about the others. So I guess just the main bodies? I, I mean, it would make so. sense. Five. Because there are five black semicircles, yeah. so those would be the five that are were already corrupted. Right. It makes sense, I guess. I well, know. I guess if you even if you think about Athemios and how if Morgan saved it, whatever, his soul is technically, I guess, untainted by being into merging with a human soul. So it could still play an effect if you. Decided decide to do the dark ritual or you know have the uh old guy baby his soul was technically untainted at that point even if that happened to uh former arch demons it would still make some sense lore wise as to why those circles would now be blacked out if that's the if that's what's happening yeah this is all speculation yeah <laughs> uh okay well zooming out from the idol for a second we see you know on the on the right side the silhouette of wolf and right. on the left side we see an elf with hair so i don't think it's solace uh holding a staff uh and it looks like he's like making a halt symbol so is he like holding back the dread wolf see i don't know because at first when you first see the tread i thought okay this is just solace but right. again it makes no sense because you have finn the as the great wolf with the three eyes as we as we know him as finn Harrell. And then you have another elf on the side, which that makes no sense why both of them will be soda. So I don't know who this could be. <laughs> <laughs> I also, uh, I mean, looking at the bottom of the screen, on the elf side, there's fire. On the right side, is that a hill that the... Is that uh, meant to be the silhouette of a hill? I think it's actually the tree of the people. Because um, if you keep, like, if it goes from, like, the bottom to the top, you see a small branch at the very, above the elf's head. So I'm thinking that's a tree. Hold up. On the see, left side? Because on the right side, I'm talking. Oh, is that I'm a, on the right side. Okay. Is that a... Uh, I thought it was just Finn Harrell's body, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. But, I mean, that's a big leg. <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> Uh, but something I just realized looking at this, notice under the um, under Fen Harrell's mouth is a lot of what l- would appear to be red lyrium. Like that's kind of that same sinister growth pattern it has. Yeah. So why would got Solus using red lyrium? Ah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Everything about this trailer is just. Just starting from the idol to Fenrir and this other elf, it's confusing and conflicts with what we probably know or thought we knew. Uh, yeah. I guess the uh, last thing about the idol someone brought up in the comments of one of my videos is that it looks li- the idol looks like it was the head of a staff that was ripped off. Yeah. Um, if there's more than one idol, which it would appear there is, then, I don't know, could these have been maybe the staves that the Evanuris had? Just like all of them, this was like their badge of office, maybe? I don't know, I'm spitballing. It could be, because we do find like a replica of it in Inquisition. You have a replica of the staff. Let me see. 
Do we? Hold on. Am I thinking the right one? No, no wait, you're, thinking of, thinking you're, of you're thinking of the replica of Meredith's sword that yeah, Samson had. So, actually, even that, because because I, I know I looked this up last night when trying to figure out what this shred <laughs> was. Because um, uh, even, even it seems that the sword may have been from Meredith. It was original, but at the same time, you find it after you fight Samson. Right. And like the description says, this can't be the same staff, but it, I don't know. It says a lot of things that so I, I could have to... sworn that, that Meredith's sword exploded when she turned. Yeah, that's what uh, pretty much made her turn her to stone. She started engulfing her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the, uh, this is a trivia. No, I want the codex of the staff. Okay, here's the description. <laughs> the description says, a sword of deepest corruption and conviction. It cannot be the red Larian blade that drove Kirkwall's knight commander Meredith to madness. It cannot have been reborn in arcane but energy somehow elven and Tevinter and blight intertwined. And it cannot have inspired in the name of a magister who once entered heaven and would dare so again. On one wonders what this sword can not be next. So what? it was it sounds like Corypheus reforged it. Yeah. But I yeah. mean did it come from the same place? Did he go to Kirkwall and get it? Well, Samson uh, was and then gave it to wielding it, and then gave so it I'm to thinking Samson. maybe, maybe Samson took the red lyrium, like probably on mm. Corypheus's command, and then Corypheus forged it since he was probably able to do it so safely or whatever, as safely as possible. Yeah, so probably just modeled it after Meredith's. So that's an option. It could be the same red lyrium from her. But I, I doubt it's the same sword at all because then it just makes no sense. We saw it destroyed in DA2. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything else we want to talk about? <laughs> there's, yeah, there's not a lot here. No, it's not. But it's just really exciting that we actually finally get DA4 news, even if this is a teaser trailer that right? lasts like 59 yeah. seconds. <laughs> It's way more than we had before. <laughs> four years. We waited four years. Four years. <laughs> oh, I will say this. Um, the fact that we hear Soda's voice at the very end, and it seems that we have finally found him, I don't know if that implies that it's the Inquisitor or maybe a new protagonist where he may have met them before. And now it just seems... Even everything he says, like, you must have questions. It, it sounds more sinister, because last time he said that he dropped a huge lore bomb on us about being Finn Harald and everything else. I'm like, oh, God, not again. Not again. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Well, the thing is, I completely lost what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the, the way... They set it up at the end of Trespasser. I'm thinking... We... Solus can outthink the Inquisitor. So they go to find someone that Solus doesn't know. In right. order to stop him. And so... I imagine the point of the game is you're recruited. The new protagonist is recruited. And you have to hunt down Solus. Yeah. So I mean, that's just kind of what I'm thinking... I would assume so. I mean, even I don't think it could be our old Inquisitor, I mean, because one, the game mechanics of using one arm will be a little hard. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's the, a new protagonist. But maybe even it, it might be a cutscene somewhere in the in the game where he re, he sees or reencounters the Inquisitor. Right, like the so, Inquisitor's there. Yeah. Right. I have a conspiracy theory about what might happen then, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh... A lot of speculation to do, but yeah. I think for this video, I think that's where we'll wrap this up. Uh, thank you for joining me. No problem. Glad to be here. All right. And uh, where can people find you? You can find me on YouTube at Crimson Wolf and on Twitter at Crimson underscore Wolf 13. Okay. I will link those in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, tala nadas.